afternoon. Today, 4th of August, 2023, we are here at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs being organized by the, um, and for a briefing being organized by the diplomatic corps on the current political situation in Niger Republic and the ECOWAS sub-region. The ambassador, Adamu Ibrahim, spoke to the press on the current situation. Listen to the news and hear the rest. I am Anazi Joyce India reporting for Tech Channels. And again, our immediate concern remains for the people of Niger who deserve peace, security, and the right to choose their leaders through transparent and fair elections. We call upon the perpetrators of this coup to step back, respect the rule of law, and engage in peaceful dialogue to resolve whatever grievances they may have. As has been demonstrated through President Tinubu's entities since the time of the coup, the Nigerian government stands ready to support any mediation efforts aimed at restoring democracy and stability in the Nigerian Republic as well as other member states. However, the region has the responsibility to ensure that the life of President Badum, his family members, and other political leaders retained along are safe. The region holds that he remains the legitimate elected president and head of state of the Republic of Niger, recognized by ECOWAS, the African Union, and the international community, and therefore to reject any form of resignation that may have possibly would have come from him, perhaps under the rest. Hey, hey, see now, boy. Mama, Mama, what did you do that? 